Draco, we've been waiting for 20 minutes. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> She's just so cute under that box. Maybe yeah, I could actually launch a game that doesn't suck. You know what this game needs? Holy <laughs> Ponies. <laughs> just like everybody. Anyone else notice that the protagonist looks a lot like Ego Raptor? This week is gonna be as awesome as Duke Nukem Forever. Hello and welcome to the last episode, yes, last episode of Blue Screen Bernie's. It's, it's been a long journey. I mean, we've been here for almost two years. Two years. Uh, I'm not supposed to cry. And we've come such a yeah, long, long way. Yeah, have. Spiral, <laughs> put the phone away. Put it away. I'm just going to preempt that right now. You rock, Jacob. Woohoo. Just so you know, I ate all of the cake. Draco. Yeah. Jerk. I don't need the phone. No, 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 no. Well, this started oh. so well. I, I will call Meredith. <laughs> anyway, so yes, we've been on the air for two years. Well, year and a we half. Haven't, eh, it depends. We, we've taken a lot of breaks for productive re production Draco reasons. Draco being lazy reasons. I'm overworked. I, I'm overworked. I want to play some Diablo 3 or, or, or something. You just want to catch up to my barbarian. Oh shush you, your barbarian sucks! <laughs> oh please, he got two weapons now, then he just whirlwinds. Oh god. Anyway, so... A lot of people have been asking... How we got started... Why we got started... That kind of stuff. So, we're gonna go ahead and just go through the general FAQ question today. How did we get started? Well... It was a bad decision between... Me... And viral and tech rat to start a video game show because there wasn't really one in the fandom it was just kind of people doing let's plays inside the fandom or doing bad reviews and yes bad reviews have been all over the fandom like they would either biasly take a stance on pony games or against them and it would be completely different based on genre of game like uh, th there, there was a, a game called Dash that was really good, but it got a low score at some sites be just because of the technical difficulties of multiplayer. Now, you know the sad thing about that? That really hasn't changed all that much. It really hasn't, but at the same time, it's more of... We're, we're now the only podcast that I know of in, in the fandom. We're now the only gaming podcast, and while we don't really talk about too many fandom-related games, that's mainly because they fall off the face of the earth, they don't want to talk to people, they don't want to be interviewed, and they don't produce a product. Yeah, let's not forget how many, you know, games have come up short, or, you know, cease and desisted, or... <laughs> yeah, well, the cease and desist I can deal with, and I mean, that's, that's something to talk about, at least, and it's something to quiet down fires, because... I remember we had two weeks of episodes. Actually, no, we had like three. Was it a month? A month of episodes just based around the C and D crap. Mm -hmm. And and then there was a uh, the episode we kind of, sort of, not really, but ended up dedicating to Pony Cart. Oh I my mean, God, the Pony Cart rant more, episode. It was more just about five minutes. Then we moved on because we just didn't want to deal with it. Mm-hmm. It's more like five minutes of why did you decide to cancel your game not tell anybody? Too busy selling certain plushies. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Um, so, I mean, it, it, it's weird. Um, okay, so we officially got our start back in 2000... What was it, 2011? 2012. Tomorrow? 2012. Uh, it was about a month after I... Actually, no, it was like two weeks after I got back from Everfree Northwest... I wanted to play a game with Tech Rat, and you randomly hopped on the Skype tr or the Twitter train. I, I hopped on the Twitter and IRC train. We were talking during, I think, an EQI episode, and we started talking about Lunar, the Silver Star story, and how my case just got broken. I, I lived in Indiana back then, and I was I was so mad because like it was a it was a collector's edition case, and it's like, oh, my jewel case is busted. And, and I, I never was the same since. And you know, then, I'm like, that day, Viral goes out and buys a collector's edition. 
Yep, I've got it right in my hand. I haven't even bothered opening <laughs> hey, it. You. And then, like, <laughs> what, what does Sekrat do? He takes a picture of his. So, Sekrat <laughs> is... Sekrat and Viral and I instantly start talking about video games. And then a question comes up of... Because I, I start telling Sekrat about my, my uh, industry uh, experience, which is just basically... Uh, player management in games, or, or Game Master, if you know what MMO terminology is. Um, and he said, why don't you run a podcast? And I was like, uh, didn't know you needed one? <laughs> so I started talking with Draft, started talking with Tech Rat, and it kind of evolved from there. Draft recommended Viral to me, and now he's unrecommended Viral <laughs> to me. And he's just, just, just saying. <laughs> I think everyone's been unrecommending me to you, but who else is going to get you artwork? <laughs> this is true. You, you know at least you know you know at least one thing, and that's how to corner artists and. Take so, them in other words, viral is a necessary <laughs> evil. Viral, no, gets, I... viral gets artists drunk at cons and makes them agree to help us. Actually, here's how it really works, folks. Draco gives me the authority to spend his money. Yeah, and it's oh god, it's been a lot of money I've spent. A lot. Well, of you know you money. can corner just spending any artist by throwing a couple of dollars their way. Probably in increments of it five or ten. Anyway. Oh jeez, yeah. And lots of beer. Oh yeah, just beer saying. is a staple. Staple of every how, how, argument. How many people were drunk at Nightmare Nights? Just just saying. Like on camera, how many people were drunk? At least it was a little them. more than drunk. It, it, at least all of them. They no, were I'm, good to, I'm good to drive. I, I, I'm I'm too drive to drunk. I'm good. One trick popped in and all of a sudden had a. Uh, I, I don't know if she had a drink or she had drinks beforehand, but yeah, one trick was totally on our episode. I what? don't think she was feeling too good that day, so... I don't think so either. But, regardless, uh, uh, we got our start with coordinating with EFN because they wanted a video gaming podcast and we wanted to do one. Uh, we talked about several different ways of doing it. We finally decided to do it like X-Play did. A, lo a long time ago, back when X-Play was actually good. Back when G4 TV. actually had, you know, things that weren't reruns. No, not even G4, Tech TV. Oh, that's right, they were Tech TV! I forgot and about that! Before that, they were on a different channel, and I can't remember, it was like yeah. U UD TV, UDZ TV or something, something like that. I can't that. Remember. Yeah, back in, back, I remember one of their first episodes was talking about Unreal Tournament 2000. I, I just loved watching Sessler's soapbox mm -hmm. because watching him rant was so amazing. And when he left, he, he recently just left Revision 3 games. And I, oh, I, I he's taking a break from video know. games. He's, he's just, he's out of the camera limelight is, is the problem, is the uh, issue there. And like, he, he knows more about the industry than a lot of people. And I think he needs to stay in because you got a lot of people that don't know anything about the industry. Oh my God. And they suck. Yeah. Although it's kind of good that he's out of the limelight, any more light, and I think that head of his would reflect <laughs> a super laser. True, he has gotten he has gotten a little bald over the years. His hair has migrated to his chin. Just a tad. So we decided to model after X-Play, and we, we changed, since then changed the model a bit. I mean, we're now more like Red 3 Games right now, and I didn't really mean it to be like that. I just kind of like wanted to be a social thing with the, the actual podcast and have the news separate. So the, this final incarnation that you're going to get with the site currently is us like on a weekly podcast talking about the week prior's news. And I'm not even too sure we're going to be doing that. I don't, I don't know if we're going to do that or if we're going to do live show on Sunday and talk about the week's prior news, like the current week's news. And just have the news. At, or we're gonna we're gonna definitely have the news as a, a, a posted item on on the site, and we've got uh, new people to take care of that. We also have a new audio editor. We also have uh, video editors, and, and I'm trying to not overwork either of them mm -hmm. because we only have one hello of, one, one of each. And and then Marcus, who kind of is there, but he does graphics for us sometimes, like the current. Well, not current now, but... The anniversary intro. The anniversary intro that we've been showing a lot has uh, was done by Marcus. He also does pretty funny montage parodies, let's be honest here. That, that is true. That is true. He could challenge Beavis. He could. He could. He could. I think they, although, should. they uh, should have a montage fight. Although since, we're, yeah, although since we're talking about the old episodes, you want to play a, you want to play a fun game. Take a drink every time somebody says anyway in any of the... Past. 
early what first moving on. Or, anyway episodes. moving on <laughs> shut up yes. viral put the phone away <laughs> you'd, you'd be demolished by about midway through the first 30 yeah we, we we had some stumbling times and we had to learn each other's cadences and, Here, and here's, an, here's another another fun yes, one take a drink that. anytime i make a pun <laughs> oh god, oh you'd goodness. be destroyed within two episodes. Her, uh, well, you'd live till episode when the, uh, 13. True. Beeps. Oh god damn it! <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so, in, in, uh, in order of succession of, of people that joined us, it, it was Viral first. Uh, I started it, Viral came on, then D-Pad randomly joined us. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was looking for, I guess, not really looking for help, but I kind of found You, you put an ad out on EQD, and I followed up. Yeah. You, and then you like, could never get rid later, of me. <laughs> a month later, you email me. <laughs> yeah. You're like the shy girl at a party. Like, my number's left on the table. You kind of sort of pick it up, and you're just leaving your pocket for I didn't months. know it was that late. I just saw it was on the news. Either that or they didn't change it. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, cool. Send an email out, get a call, talk with you guys. I get dragged into a show and an interview. My keyboard was too loud the first time. Scrap the whole thing, what, three times? Three. <laughs> three, times. Did three separate interviews with the <laughs> live guys. Oh, dear God. And I had to do two of those for my car. That's right. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. With a goddamn <laughs> extension cable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, had I remember those from days. my car. My Nissan Max my beat up Nissan Maxima. Your banger Nissan. Uh but <laughs> then we added a few more people. I think Kyle I don't know, I think I came Ooh, Yeah. Kyle was here. after Crescendo. I was, no, Kyle I was Crescendo right. then Kyle. Okay, so yeah, Crescendo I then came Kyle. in around episode thirteen Kyle? because I I was friends with Viral for a little while. He Actually, originally wanted to beat me at Smash Brothers at Everfree Northwest, the very first one. Sad to say, well, I couldn't but make it out went. there, but... I even paid for oh, your ticket you're so to the sweet. con. I would have repaid you by... In other words, he <laughs> wants to know, where's his money? <laughs> so, uh, so, we ever end up in these states again, I'm charging interest. Yeah. So, Crescendo, who, who's a EFN... Yeah, I'm one of the guard, founders. She she joined us because, let's face it, reviews really weren't going anywhere on, on EFN at that time, so you yeah. kind of really didn't have anything. You guys help. You know, you guys to be fair, Draco, though. It's my boredom. <laughs> Psh, yeah, boredom? Wing boredom. Your boredom. Ear. You play so many games, how are you ever bored? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Leaving at your boredom when you're here. You, 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 you hurt your face, Draco. I do. You know, I just How want to point something out. Your oh, eye God, in the monitor. Okay. Draco, think about it this way, though. The first episode we had Crescendo on the show was our lowest view total ever. Oh, wow. Wait, way to make me feel great, guys. I know, I know. It's awesome, right? But Okay, so... We, we had a ton of people come and go. Uh, some people left for... Greener uh, pastures. They, they had life problems. <laughs> so, some people Greener. left because I gave them the dra- dragon kick. <laughs> Sorry, you can... Sorry, you can... Yeah. Sorry, uh, okay. <laughs> spike spinning bird kick because all, all my strengths in my legs, like some people. So you're saying you're Cammy? <laughs> or or, yeah, no, no. or, or Chun-Li. my mind. <laughs> yeah, why? So our first episode ever, we actually got Meredith Sims, who quickly became one of my best friends. Uh, Meredith Sims, she's such a sweetheart. She Lies. Really is. She's shut your face. <laughs> oh my god! You're just mad because you got to move to Cleveland. You got to move and be a butt guy. Hey, look at it this way, though. If he's in Cleveland, that means he's within driving distance of Beardy, and that way Beardy can actually go and slap him when he falls asleep in the middle of our Pathfinder sessions. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Beardy and Josie just mm. show up at his door, and Screwloose's wife lets him in. And well, look, they do they do bad, terrible things to him while he's asleep on the keyboard. Well, look on the bright side, Screwloose. If we ever go to play golf again, at least it's remotely within driving distance. We probably have to find some place in the middle. I don't know of many golf courses in Cleveland. I know of a golf course. It's at Cedar Point. 
Which I is think we're getting a little door. off topic. It's literally within driving distance. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. But anyway. So. <laughs> just a little bit. Moving <laughs> on. Welcome to Blue Chase Ronies. Anyway, no. Uh, so, yeah. It, it's, it, it, it's been a humble beginning, humble start. I, I never expected to have as many fans as we do. I didn't expect to have 20 fans, let alone almost 600. I think we're over 600. We have fans? We have fans. I've actually met some in Houston, oh, by the way. So Buy our cool. stuff. Buy our stuff. This I ain't a cherry. I actually ran into one in uh, one of Apex's art streams. Really? Yeah. Neat. I mean, we do have fans. They're out there, and they they will buy shirts if we put them up. I've already taken a poll. It's pretty cool. Yep, and but, I'm going to be all pretty sparkly, shoujo sparkles all up in those shirts, modeling them apparently, so... Buy yes. them because what? of me! Faye's <laughs> yeah, uh, going to be our, our baby T model. So, yeah. Our baby T and unisex model because, you know, most people don't want... Most, some girls don't want baby T's, so unisex? A AKA guys. For all the people. So, there's... There, there, there's there been a long string of interviews that I didn't ever think we would get as well. I mean, who, who could have foreseen Steven Ogg being D-pad's neighbor? Thanks for telling us that nugget of information. Sorry, God, I didn't realize he was going to be in Grand Theft Auto until I realized, oh wait, you can get me a job? Wait, did you say Rockstar Games? Wait, did you say Grand Theft Auto? Wait, did you say you're voicing it? Wait, what? That was amazing. Hold on, I gotta go <laughs> break myself out of anaphylactic shock. Well, no, the anaphylactic shock came when I said, hey D-pad, guess who I have on the interview docket? Lara Shigihara. Neat! <laughs> you were like, I want to talk to her. <laughs> I was like, uh, it's at this time. Oh, I'm at school then. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Skip all of school. It's always at school. <laughs> you you always set the good stuff right around my academic career. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who I needs some education? But I want to make video games for a living. <laughs> well, that's my first mistake, but second of all. First time, <laughs> said mistake. So, we had some brony people. We had... Uh, some fandom people, we had some indie game people. Uh, I mean, Kim Wynn Tran has actually been a return. Oh my god, Kim Wynn Tran <laughs> is brilliant, hilarious. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant She's hilarious. Doc, Dr. Happened. Fidget. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Fidget. <laughs> Dr. Fidget. Oh my Coming god. to a con near you sometime. God, I, I hope so. It, god, I, I hope so. I am funding that cosplay, I, Faye. I, I am funding that cosplay. You are doing I it. I know, I have to do it because reasons. <laughs> but Kim Wynn Tran, Erica Mendez, Meredith Sims. I know I'm going to be forgetting a lot of people. Danielle McRae. Danielle McRae, yes, definitely. She was awesome. Mm -hmm. Both times. Oh, yeah. Uh, Josefina. An Anneli. Is it Anneli? An yeah, Anneli. Anneli Heed? Anneli Heed. An Anneli. An Anneli Heed. The Swedish VAs. The Swedish VAs. Super Swede, not Carl. Carl A. Bear. That was fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Carl A. Bear. Um, Oh god, I'm blanking so hard on one that I, I should mention. Didn't we get Amy Keating Rogers at one point? We got Amy Keating Rogers because Osaka Jack is amazing. Yes, he is. He is indeed. And yeah, we had a uh, we, we had a uh, Kerberfer, which was probably one of the mo more more colorful. Well, because he was that. playing off of Shady Vox the entire time. Yes, he was. You know, I <laughs> those, just want to point something out. Those two just turn into just vulgarities galore. Speaking of which, we're going to get to our new people in a bit. I'm going to continue on with, uh, real quick here, with, with what we've done, what we're going to do. We partnered with Gaming Cults for Everfree Northwest panel, which sold out. Cut Full room. Um, they invited us back, but by the time I was done working for the week to reply to them, it was too late. <laughs> Darn having to make money, and darn having to have a job. Wow. So instead of having a panel this year, I'm just going to go and, one, have fun, two, help the game room, and three, get as much interviews as I possibly can. But notable people we picked up for podcasting, or, or sorry, rather, notable people we picked up for the show uh, so far has been Crescendo from the Old Guard at EFN, and also, I guess... I guess D-pad counts because he doesn't. Eh, see no, he doesn't count. Oh, please. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't he count. He count. He I don't count, count oh, yeah. for anything. Are you kidding me? Who Nobody really knows who the hell I am. They always think Guys. it's the other D-pad. <laughs> or, or the, the other D-pad. <laughs> or the other one. <laughs> or the other one. This name's not <laughs> that original. I figured that out. 
<laughs> That's okay, D Piddles. <laughs> oh, don't you start. <laughs> <laughs> So, we picked up Screwloose, the premier patchmaker in the fandom. Ah, 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 you. No! <laughs> how to wake up, old man. How, how to wake ah, up. Was... Put, put, your, put your cheaters on. It's, it's, it's oh, good to work. Mm. Hi. Don't turn into Tim Curry on us. So, Screwloose, when did, when did we add you? I can't remember. Uh, like halfway through last year? Thereabouts. He I think did. he kind of just showed up one day. He just showed up one day, enjoyed it, had fun. And we've and not stayed. been able to get rid of him since. But He's like a stray dog. We don't want to get rid of him. <laughs> I would we don't get want rid to of get him. rid of him. I mean, it's not like <laughs> Viral, who we've tried to get rid of. Viral, how many times? <laughs> Viral's like a bad boomerang. He not only comes back, <laughs> but he makes a second circle. Now that's why we keep him. Yeah, right there. He, he finds gems sometimes. Sometimes they're terrible. Really Sometimes terrible. they're really funny. You shut your mouth. But anyway, so Skrillus, he's going to have his own star. You're going to be able to buy patches from him whenever you want. Wholesale. And he'll be able to no. make them and send them. Them sweet, sweet send patches. Send them. Yes. All, All the patches. patches. Yes, everywhere. you will be able to purchase pre-made cus and customs. I do many things. All the things. Many things. He even plays games of, of Pathfinder with you if you pay him enough money. Though I have some stipulations, but for the most part, I can do pretty much anything. What's the matter? No drunken female barbarians for you? A note taken. <laughs> I, ha I have All standards, right, so good sir. We also picked up a random brony that I just started like, hanging this out podcast, with I don't know, in the middle of Houston somewhere. Faye. Hi. Yeah, I just kind of met you at a burger joint. And yeah, just... I was like behind the counter and like being all like bibbity bobbity, and then you were like, "Look at me, in my lunar shirt," and I was like, "Bro fist," and that's how that happened. That's how it started. Then I got shoved to the wayside Wait, because I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so it always falls back to genetics. Faye, Faye's been a lovely asset. Whoa. <laughs> 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 Subtle. Asset. Asset. My asses. Bleepity bleepity bleep. Good night, everybody. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> this is why we're rebranding. We need to get everything <laughs> yeah. away from all the junk. Yes. Get all the dirt away. I'm sorry, Jacob, but the dirt follows rug. us. Yes, it does. It kind of does. So, like, Faye, Faye's been wonderful as of late, just because, like, I tell her monsters on Monster Hunter, and without ever seeing it, draws up these cute little adorable pictures. Bunny bears! <laughs> Bunny bears. Freaking Legombi on Monster Hunter is adorable the way she draws it, because it looks so menacingly evil cute. It's like, oh, there's there's a tiny little cute bunny bear, but it has skulls underneath it. But it's still adorable! Oh, that's not... It'll still rip your eyeballs out and All eat I do. But you'll want to cuddle it still. You know, mm. there's only one bunny that holds the cake of evil. Monty Python oh, bunny? the Monty Python exactly. bunny. Exactly. That wasn't a bunny, that was a rabbit. They're, they're, they're different. Mm, Same difference. Not really. If it was a hare, it'd be different. Yeah, yeah. My but cat's bunny is a younger rabbit. Just saying. Mm. You're off by a wait, hare. Wait, that's <laughs> my job! <laughs> so what and you just now? got replaced. Yep. I guess you should pick up the slack. Sure, what I will be bringing to the team is cosplay awesomeness and other things involving video games and stuff, but mainly cosplay things. Uh, yep. Because yeah, good, good. cosplay. And, and she's gonna be a camera woman. I am. Or not camera woman, rather she's gonna be on camera. Oh, okay. I'd say at, the camera's at my job. Conventions. I'll try my best this is. She's gonna be the the face of convention coverage. Cause awesome. When we can. Also, we're gonna be taking on more people so that way people can be, you know, news editors, reviewers. Three for correspondence. Kind of I would have an army. And correspondence. All right. So now that that's out of the way, let's introduce the new people. New people, yeah. New people. New people. Let's start with Fuzzy since he talked first. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he talked first. All right, Fuzzy Dice 
who answered uh, an ad, I guess you could say, a call out to be an <laughs> audio editor. I'm just going to take this moment to make a great joke about audio editors. Audio editors are so... Now you can just cut it right there. (laughs) (laughs) I see what you did there. I see it. No, you heard what he did there. Well, you certainly didn't hear it. Well, I edited that out. Just edit that out. That's the joke. All right, now carry on like nothing happened. Anyway, so Fuzzy, our, our audio editor who is currently working on a second Lara Shigihara interview that we had done. Yep. And we'll be currently, as of recording this, working on this episode. Draco? Yep. I have a suggestion. Yes. A brilliant suggestion. I swear to God, if it's more cheesecake, I'm with you. Actually pay viral? Cheesecake! I think we need to make our intro much like Mystery Science Theater 3000. I would love to, but that costs a lot more money than I want to spend. Robot, roll call. Cambot! Screwy, what you need to do is sell patches as a fundraiser to get us an intro. There you go. There you go, people. You guys. Buy his patches. Buy his (laughs) patches. And Fulner's fanfiction. No, no. I can vouch for him. He's got some really cool patches. I mean, he gave me this awesome Avengers one. All right, Dakota... Mm, hey, what's up? You you joined just recently as well, and go ahead and tell everybody what you're going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, reviews, you know, latest games, old games, things that you want to, you know, check out. If you're not too sure about you can read the review and be like, well, that seems interesting. Why don't I give it a shot? All right. And how often do you think you're going to be doing this stuff? Well, I do have a lot of free time on my hand. Don't have a job. Uh, so... Whenever I get my hands on a new game, or I play a game I haven't played before, or anything, so pretty much every day. You sound so excited, Dakota. Is there a way we can like perk you up? I mean, Viral seems a little bit more happier than you, and it, and that's hard. That's that's saying a lot. It's because I've been avoiding you guys. Ooh, what systems do you do you have? I don't know. <laughs> oh well, I have a 360. I got an Xbox One. I got a PS Vita and uh, PC. Change uh, gamer tags. All right, we have a lot of people doing a lot of things, and Corinne popped in to do art for us. Hi, Corinne. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I've been in the fandom since it came out, and I like to draw, so. Every day I'm in school and bored, I draw ponies, and when Dakota's friend saw an ad for you guys, and I'm like, sure, why not? And I honestly thought I wasn't going to get in, so. It's a surprise to me that my art is going to be used in something so big. There's a joke to be had there, and Varro, you will not make it. You mathematically assume it was him who was trying to contain themselves. I knew it was him oh. and There's you the both. There's the beauty I just, of push I talk, I know buddy. that human had more self-control, d I'm too busy playing Diablo 3. Oh, can I also uh, make a note? Um, part of myself, uh, I'd like to thank my uh, buddy Arachnus. Yeah. Oh, Arachnus, For right. showing me the ad. I really thank him for that because, you know, I like gaming and... <clears throat> this is something I really like to do. It's, it's my thing. I love it. So I'd like to, you know, shout out to him if I can do that. Can I do that? You just did. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Shameless plug right, activated. And Logan, if Logan is there. Hello, Logan. Oh, I'm here. Hi. L- Logan's going to be our, I guess, trainee, inter- uh, trainee editor-in-chief. I demand pictures of Spider-Man. Well, you're not getting them. You need to work on your announcer voice, see? You gotta gotta get that kind of mm, cadence in your voice if you want to run the show around here, see? Johnny, play that one about me falling down the stairs. This is why I'm trying to get D-pad the BronyCon. Because it'll be <laughs> hilarious. So, what do you think about them horses, huh? Them horses are really good horses, you know. That's one time. I don't know, that one looks like he belongs in the glue factory. Uh, yeah, it's me. I wouldn't put my money on that horse. I'd put my money on that horse over there. Hey, what? miss, can you get your time for a second? Hello, hey, Maddie, can you give that? No, don't, don't, oh, God. 
Will you put your money <laughs> in my wallet? Because I'm going to go spend it on fancy dresses. <laughs> I'm confused. As am I. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Logan's going to be our, our trainee editor-in-chief for written reviews and interviews and also news stories because... Yes, we are going to do that now because not everybody has time to really sit down and be interviewed. Sometimes written questions are needed because you just want to ask questions and they don't really want to be on camera or be on audio. They just want to answer some, right? Okay, so that, that's fine. Magazines do this all the time. It's great. Written reviews, done all the time. Don't have to be a video review all the time. It can be written. You can get stuff. You can get this stuff across in words. And also written news stories because yes it's not always copy and paste it from Kotaku even though we d used to do that a lot Kotaku was like our only source for the first Nate Kyle came along and made it, it made like different sources our source so yeah thank you Kyle diversity Kyle Kyle, well, Kyle, did, it, Kyle did a spectacular job but I'd like he to did. at least throw my hat in the ring in which case I dragged us into PC Gamer because reason the door into the ring so uh I'll have you know I don't it, own a fedora. It's been, it's been great. So hopefully, Logan, go ahead and tell us about yourself. And also, let me just go ahead and say this. You're going to have a lot of work. Well, I started watching My Little Pony after one of my friends convinced me to not knock something before I try it. And shortly after, I couldn't stop watching it to the point that to the point that my cat actually watches it with me because he's insane likes to watch TV. I then forced Dakota and all of his friends into watching it as well. After that, Dakota told me about how he got the chance to write reviews and how excited he was, and I thought, well, maybe I can help Dakota out, help him write some reviews and stuff, since my goal in college right now is to become an English professor. So... Pretty good. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. much it for me. Sounds so fun. So in other words, the crap that Crescendo constantly tries to like kill me with, because I'm, I'm sometimes in grammar Nazi mode, might get corrected and sent back to her with a failing grade. Awesome! Alright, so that's the new people. The new people of... Oh wait, we're not Blue Screen Friends anymore. Does, does that mean we get to oh. evolve? D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-
Uh, that, uh, th- what you're thinking of would be really weird in group hug. Do it. Do it anyway, because we're going to do it in a Del Taco, aren't we? <sighs> you people. <laughs> I feel so uncomfortable right yeah. now. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Join the club. Oh, yeah, man. It's gonna be the weirdest hug ever. Tune in at night. Alright, that's enough of that. Uh, yeah, so, since, uh, since Viral decided to break out his cell phone, D pad breaks out his. That's how this works. I remember I used it so well during the maddeningly long stream. The maddeningly long, no one got any sleep stream? Because mm-hmm. I do believe Kyle stayed awake the entire Not weekend. any yeah, bit did. of sleep. Because he's crazy. Kyle is a trooper. <laughs> and by trooper, I mean freaking insane. Yeah, call him A, uh... call him B, we thank you much. I want to point out, Draco was actually asleep for half that stream. I was, because I was up for two days straight organizing the damn thing. Sheesh. I got a little bit of sleep in between. I was like making sure everybody was set to go and whatnot, and we still had a couple of like scheduling conflicts and whatnot. And it's uh, flying by the seat of our pants, folks. Yes, I sure, I sure did. I like rescheduled stuff on the fly all weekend. Mm-hmm. It was wonderfully terrible. Deep breaths, happy thoughts. Deep breaths, happy thoughts. So, what's in store from now on? Well, button mashers will be thebuttonmashers.net. It will be our website. It will be RSS fed to EFN. It will be a place to go for all of your anime. Your oh yeah, I forgot to talk about that anime. <laughs> We're adding that to the roster. It would go for your anime, game, cosplay, convention news. We we'll also have interviews, reviews. We we'll also have stream time, and stream time is going to be fun. We're going to invite guests. In fact, I already got one person interested, someone I just interviewed yesterday. Hmm. I'm sorry, two days ago, because my days are running together because I worked late night. And we're not going to tell you. No, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I interviewed Brittany Brie Lotta. Neat, neat, neat. Some of you may know as the fandom's voice of Pinkie Pie. She's not really the Pinkie Pie voice anymore. She doesn't... She's, She's kind of gotten into anime. And by... That, I mean, she got into a very large anime. Which is... Queen's Blade Rebellion? I mean, yeah. just It's kind of large in Japan, but not really large here. But yeah, anyway. So, we, we have a new interview under our new name. We have an old interview coming out under our old name. Actually, we got two old interviews coming out under our old name, so look out for those. Uh, we are also going to continue to take questions and, and answer them as much as we possibly can. We're going to change our social media to update with us on Wednesday. Our site will officially launch Wednesday as of this recording. We will have everything good to go for you to visit. And if you want to purchase anything from Screwloose or t-shirts from us, you'll be able to do so as well from that site. Just be forewarned, it will take four to six weeks because Screwloose has to make the patches and I have to get the t-shirts made. Anything else that anybody wants to know, feel free to send us a question and we will answer it. Uh, as far as like t-shirts, 100% of all the t-shirt funds are going to go towards making more t-shirts. Anything else bought from there will go to Screwloose because his patches cost mm-hmm. money to be made. Not to mention he's kind of like a starving patch maker who, who, who only eats what his wife feeds him. I will tell you, my wife feeds me delicious, delicious things. So guys... I mean, this has been wonderful. I, I didn't expect anything to happen like this. I didn't expect as nearly as many guests to agree to be on our show. I didn't I didn't ever expect our, our Ponies for a Cause streams to ever, ever be this big at all. And I still need to make a, a website for that. I guess I'll tack it onto this website. Ha ha ha! I still need to get art for that, too. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been six months. I don't have anything prepared for it anymore. So it's been... A, a good long run, and it will continue to be a good long run, whether we have one viewer or 10,000. It doesn't really matter to me. I will continue to make this show work, and it will continue to be fun, whether or not Viral wants fun or not. No. Only misery. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. That's my anyway, version of guys, fun. And rocks. 
Pyro, hey, I'm guys. gonna draw you in a garbage can, just like Oscar the Grouch. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, that's exactly what, what I wanna thought. do. I wanna come pick you up, Ashley, tomorrow before we go go karting. You're gonna draw this picture. I'm gonna take a picture of it. I'm going to send it to everyone in EFN. I like how you're announcing to the internet that you're kidnapping me. <laughs> oh, we're, I'm kidnapping you so hard. Uh, I'm yeah. I'm throwing you in my recently cleaned trunk. Okay. With a pillow and a blanket. Okay. Um, so, this is like this trunk. is all I'm like hearing the... when this conversation is going on. <laughs> 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 Help me, guys. I don't want to be in a trunk. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Remember, this song so, is used under parody. So, yeah. There, and we, fair we got use. a lot more things planned. We got a lot more content for you. It's going to be great. It's going to be an awesome site. And I hope you all enjoy it. If not, the site's going to stay up no matter what. No matter how many viewers we get. Are you guys going, up. Uh, how it, many of you guys are going to BabsCon? Nope. <laughs> uh, nope. I can't get the time off work. I don't even know if I can get the time off my brother's graduation, oh, man. I have no idea where that is. It's in California. San Francisco. California. I, it's north of where I am, but I'm no still not going. I would if I could. I would if I could, but I'm currently working that weekend. So I will literally be happening. at that hotel the week after. Oh. <laughs> I work literally all the weekends, so uh, yeah. All yep. the weekends. So, all the sadness. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Anything anyone else wants to talk about R real quick? The magic of friendship is a lie. Aren't we no, starting at more video game Jeez. streams on weekends? Yes, we will start having video game streams on the weekends. Uh, I think I touched on that a little bit. Um, the games will be chosen at, at, well, nearly random just about. I think <laughs> you're going to be in charge of that. <laughs> Who so wants to want me to get scared out of my pants playing Outlast in the dark? Why won't we have? Why don't we have an Outlast race? We both play, start at the same time, and whoever <laughs> can get the furthest without no. wetting their pants and or crying, without yes. just rage quitting, like no, nope, no, nope, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> so Outlast, like, why, why, why did I say that? Out Outlast with D-pad. Outlast with D-pad <laughs> is now going to be. No fair, it's going to be light where you are when it's dark where I am. Pearls are so, very absorbent. So, yeah. True. Deep is going to be crying to his afro. Crescendo is going to try to I actually had my hair cut. My afro's <laughs> gone. The magic is gone! All your strength is gone. Oh, no. Disappeared. Oh, no. Hold up, hold up. You cut off the fro, so where do you store things? Um, the hair still maintains its other dimensional qualities. I mean, my headphones still disappear when I put them on. What? D-pad's head is actually a bag of holding. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> I thought it was a void zone. Also, yes. Alright, guys. So, that's it for this week. Uh, next week, we're going to be picking back up as the butt mashers. Oh, and the episode numbers the episode numbers will be the same. And we're going we're gonna to continue where we left off. We're just changing Whoa. names. That's it. So, like, we moved across That's the country what we're doing now. because we're all vigilantes, and we're all changing our names and having face surgery, right? That's the plan, right? Well, I cut my we're, hair we're off. I'm good be, to go. We're, we're all going to be uh, 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 Handsome Jack. We, we all need <laughs> yeah. embroidered shirts. We're, we're, we're all going to be <laughs> Handsome Jack, and we're going we're gonna to do the... the no. We're, we're going we're gonna to make a story called The Pre-Sequel. Is, oh. is that what I hear? I thought we were going to talk about video game news, you son of a gun. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm embroidered shirt. I want to play that need. game. <laughs> you just want to play as Claptrap. Shut your face. Yes, I do. <laughs> I will not Oh, he's a up. character? Yes. He's wow. a character in The Pre-Sequel. Yes. That's awesome. So, so much wow. So, I mean, if we were going to talk about news, if we were going to talk about news, it would be like, oh, hey, Smash Brothers things happened. Samus and funny shoes. Yes. Well, you know, a woman in her shoes are hard to part with. Oh, I'm not gonna get in, I'm not gonna get in between a woman in her shoes. I've learned that lesson. Anyway, yeah. anyway, guys, see you next week. Bye. From all of us, and there's a lot of us. A lot. To a all lot. of you, and there's a lot of you. A more than. Thanks us. for watching, and thanks for playing with us. When, whenever right. we randomly play TF2 with you guys, thanks. It's awesome. It's awesome letting you watch me burn Crescendo to death. You burned crap to death. I'm the better pyro here. <laughs> no, I am yeah, a great spy. spy. 
fire everywhere. All right, guys, have fun, and we are going to be doing, I think, Monday Night Combat next Friday. What, what do you say, D Pad? Yeah, I can do Monday Night Combat. Okay, Monday Night Combat. Next Friday need... might it's be not tricky Monday because night? personal stuff. <laughs> I'll get back to you. <laughs> All I can say is you better, yeah. you better encode. Crescendo, you, you we'll you, give it a you, shot. You, you busting, you busting them, Crescendo. Draco, you busting. All I can say is on this you, new you, site. You are, you are busting my, you are busting them. Let's then. wrap it up, guys. On yep. this new site, there okay, better be so a Konami. We're wrapping code. it up. <laughs> we're wrapping it up, and there might be a Konami code. I don't know. I don't know what I would include, but I'm thinking about it. Just ask Futsu. He probably can figure it out. All right, guys, have fun. Game on, save often, whatever you need to do. But please, 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 do not ever, for the love of whatever god you worship, put a Duke Nukem Forever disc in your software, or in your hardware, at all. Period. It, it's like, it, that is like contracting her forgot a Sith Blades all at once. Too late. I spent $60 on that game with my birthday money I'm whenever so it sorry. came out. Well, so there, there's no cure for your sadness, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna Except say, D-Pad's got I your beat, though. Your yeah, <laughs> Aliens, Colonial Marines. Alright, guys, right. have fun. I remember! Everybody, say bye. Bye, everybody! Bye-bye! Hello! Bye. 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 Draco's about to see you. <laughs>